All right, so today we are training in the brand new Under Armour lifters. I just got them in. Let me get them out of my backpack here. Oh, I guess, duh, I have the side pocket compartment on the Haven backpack so I can just get my shoes out without taking out the whole thing. But here they are. They just came in today. The new Under Armour lifters so these are the long-awaited ua lifters i actually caught first word about these at the under armor summit back in 2020 january 2020 they were telling me that they were testing them or james newberry told me that he was testing them and they're finally here in production form they just came out i don't know like last week or something um, they were up on the international stores, I think a little bit sooner than the American store, um, but I got them. They're finally here, and uh, let's take a little walk around before we actually get into training. So I got them in a size 10, and I think it fits fairly true to size. Uh, my normal UA stuff right now is 10 and a half, almost everything. Rain 5, Project Rock, um, the, Cur or the Flow Dynamics. And the slip speeds, those are all 10 and a half, but these fit true to size and, uh, and a 10. So we have only a single strap design. Um, kind of has this like warning uh, like pattern to it with the stripes. I think it looks pretty cool. It's got a little train pull tab made out of rubber right there. Synthetic leather upper made to feel kind of like leather. So that is pretty much throughout the whole shoe. Uh, so with the design here, you have the toe box and then you have a lateral and a medial panel. That's, I'm assuming, to just kind of, you know, aid in the way that the shoe fits and contains your foot. So one thing that I'm noticing here about the silhouette is that unlike a lot of the more, you know, competitive Oli shoes nowadays, the outsole shape and design is just like a standard shoe. Uh, there's no outriggers on the metatarsals, right? It's just a standard profile. And then especially at the heel, there's nothing fancy going on. It's just like a normal shoe shape. Maybe a teeny tiny bit right here on the lateral side, you get a little bit of lip that comes out of the outsole, flat contact, uh, predominantly throughout and then there's a little cutaway that kind of showcases the heel which is made out of TPU and you have some raised areas at the TPU heel to kind of cut the sides of your heel in place and then of course the back rises up a little bit cuts away on the sides or perforations in the sides of the shoe to maybe give it a little bit more breathability. These like kind of dimples at the front, they're not actually holes. And then one interesting thing that I've already noticed is the tongue is a little weird. It's like unfinished and it kind of has these little cuts on the sides of it to wrap around your ankle or shin. The ankle collar has a pretty decent amount of cushioning Nothing to write home about, nothing like spectacular, nothing crazy in design there. A little heel pull tab. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Obviously we have the single strap. Here you can kind of see that, you know, that design, that two panel design on the sides, aiding in like just giving the midfoot more of a wrap kind of feel. And this little O-ring or D-ring is it's made out of metal, so that's not going to break anytime soon. The overall construction, it feels nice. It doesn't feel like it's cheap or, you know, doesn't feel like it's like a low quality product or anything. Materials feel okay. Uh, let's take out the paper and feel how heavy it is. It's not super heavy. It's not super light. If I had to guess, probably about 17 or 18 ounces uh, for a men's size 10. And then let's see like the profile, if I hold it up here, just like straight on, is predominantly flat. There's very little angle to the toe, which is what we want. Uh, the outsole traction pattern is just like a multi-directional traction pattern. 
no real toe bump or anything like that. It's kind of like a plain design. Um, let's take a look at the insole. Removable, anatomical, and it's like a normal shoe insole. It's like designed for comfort, which is fine, like to be honest with you. Like this heel is not flexing. It's torsionally not flexing and it's it's solid. You're not gonna be able to compress that. It's solid TPU. And let's see. Thickness of the insole is probably about, I don't know, three, four millimeters, maybe five. The heel height on this is right around 20 millimeters. With the rubber and everything, it was like close to 24, but the actual like heel wedge, they said was 19.7 millimeters. So that falls more in line with like ROM 2s, Addy Power 1s, but Let's get these things rocking. I've got some power snatches going on today, so hopefully these help me out with those because I suck at power snatching. Okay, so we're gonna build up to a, an opening weight, which is likely gonna be 135. Sounds pretty safe. And then maybe get up to like a 185 power snatch. Hoping to God I can get to that. Feels pretty responsive. Getting a little bit of heel slip, I can correct that by just lacing the laces a little bit different. Uh, but one thing that I am noticing that is a little bit off-putting is the way that the heel is shaped. It's kind of like aggressively sloped downwards in the midfoot of the shoe and like drops off a lot from the heel to the toe. And like, I almost feel like there's a huge gap between the middle of my foot and, or the midfoot of the shoe. It feels weird. Yeah, cause the way the midfoot is shaped or the heel is shaped, it feels like I don't have contact with the ground or I'm like the ground feel in these is kind of vague because it feels like there's a gap between the middle of my foot and the ground. Just an FYI, that is also something that I hated about the lice tongues. The lice tongues heel had that same feeling. It feels like I'm on like a, a curve or like a half pipe. It's making me feel like, like I can't get to the right spot when I'm contacting the bar. Like it feels like right here, I get pushed onto my toes and then my feet come up, my heels come up. And then I come back too much, my toes come up. It's like the Nano 11 effect, kind of. Not as bad, but kind of. It's gonna be like this. It's gonna be a rough day. But we gotta get rolling. Minute one. That was not good. Like, completely banged that one. Didn't stay over it. It's weird. I feel like I have to put a huge emphasis on really staying more forward in these shoes. Short. I'm not getting under the bar like I should. And these are definitely not warm. That's pretty good. That was good. Feeling more comfortable in these now. By minute five. And they really like think about driving your toes down in these shoes. Not like that's uncommon. Should always be thinking about driving your toes down. But this, this pair of shoes, you gotta try a little bit harder. Oh, I got a pretty good jump. Jesus. Now oh, we needed more lats. I let that bar get away from me like crazy on that one.
short. Why is my right foot only moving? That was a good finish. First impressions are interesting. Like I, first five minutes I like hated them, but as I got further into the Imam, they became better. I became more adjusted to them. I really had to kind of think about how I was placing my feet. Um, it's hard to get like midfoot contact on the ground. It feels like hard to push your midfoot into the ground. It feels like it's either back or forward. And for me, I had to kind of push down on my toes a little bit more than I'm normally used to pushing. I don't know how some people are gonna like that. Uh, just cause like, it does feel like it, it has a little bit less midfoot pressure than like the Legacy 3 and the Anti 2s and the Romaleo 4s, all the shoes that I have been using. Uh, they're stable. They're responsive, I can give you that. Like some of those um, ending snatches, I was like getting under and I was like, boom, stuck to the ground, which was great. Uh, there was very little drama with my feet on those later snatches. But in the very beginning, like positioning through the pole felt a little weird. The heel height feels like, just feels like everything else. Not super high not super low, it feels like right in line with Romaleos and Legacies. It's not too far off. I mean, height, it really isn't that far off. The way that they fit, uh, the metatarsals broke in a little bit more, so I'm not really getting that pressure on my right foot anymore. Heel slip isn't really an issue after I lace them up differently. I lace the, the holes down a little bit deeper. The only place that I'm getting a little bit of pressure is on the outside of my foot, on my right foot the only one but yeah that is pretty much it if you want to go and pick up a pair they're already up they're 150 bucks today i think that coupon's not going to last for very long but uh, i'll leave a link in the description so that you can pick them up right now i'm about to hit this wad it's a pretty quick one so hopefully i can finish it sub 10 because i'm running out of time <laughs>